My favorite hobby is buying businesses and I've just bought another business. In fact, I'm buying more businesses than bees collect nectar. We're here at Bo Peep Day Nursery in sunny South End on Sea where we've got quite a few businesses. And I decided to buy this business because we've got 10 other day nurseries. It's in a massive plot. It's a nice freehold property. We paid 950,000 pounds, just a whisker off a million quid. We structured it in a really creative way that allowed me to get it over the line quickly. There were some challenges in this business because it fouled in Ofsted. So we had to find a different way of skinning the deal so that we could get it over the line. We've done that. And I was attracted to this business because if you look around me, you'll see chimney pots, just chimney pots everywhere. There's literally tens of thousands of people on our doorstep. And that's really good if you've got a day nursery. South End's now a city as well. So I believe South End's just going to get constant more investment over the next 10, 20 years. But this was a business that's already making hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of profit. And we're just going to you know, put the 10% improvements on, put our systems and processes in place. We're really building a really seriously big childcare business now in Twizzle Tops. We've got an amazing team. Let's go and meet Katie, who's my managing director of Twizzle Tops. She's worked for me now for coming up to two decades, over 15 years. And yeah, let's go and meet them right now. This stuff is older than me. This looks old fashioned for when I was at school. This should come back in fashion again soon, it's that old. <laughs> So, they're so overhated. Yesterday I was in an amazing place. They had a sensory area for children and they put on the wall, you know that um, sequin reversible? Oh, yeah, they love that. they done a whole wall of different colours of it and the kids yeah. had all this play around them and all they were doing was yeah. fiddling with yeah, it. They loved it. So we'd like to see this by next week, is that all right? Katie's in charge. Oh. Need to get Gavilar to uh, yeah. week no. This yeah. could be outstanding here, can it? Yeah. With this. Massive. You could put a little bouncy pillow in here, can you? <laughs> yeah. These trees are fantastic. <laughs> Never get rid of the trees, will you? Why did he not put, build these around the trees so they look like tree houses? I see, I'm so proud of you. Like, it's really good to look at this. Getting better, isn't it? So we're a year into the project here in this nursery that we bought in South End. All the legals are done. We now own the freehold of the property, this huge, a massive plot with all these chimney pots around us. We structured the deal in such a creative way that we're able to buy the property, then get it revalued at a higher price through Savills because we're in here, we got the numbers up, we've got good management team. Because when we bought this, it was slightly distressed and it takes a year minimum to sort a slightly distressed or a major distressed business out. When you look at Rossi ice cream, it's taken us a good two years to get to the level of starting to get into a positive EBITDA. That's like a positive cash flow profitability. But we've had to spend a lot of money on new signage, new equipment, new resources, new uniforms, websites and marketing, because all of that was in the dark ages and that was stopping customers coming here. How are you guys? Good. good to see you. So, so you still haven't done this part? No. No. Yeah. Uh, if not six weeks holiday from here. Oh wow. Oh latex the floor as well. Well this is what was underneath, no. Do you think this is gonna be better this big? So what is he doing just painting it at the moment, Gavin? What are we doing about these? These pipes. Is that all going white as well? Yeah, that's good. So when are you operating from back in here again? Tuesday. What are the staff, are they liking it? Oh, or? loving it, really excited. They keep poking their head in, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Thank you, how are you? Oh, this is so much better open up. Like, I haven't yeah. seen it since it's all been... Do you prefer it all open like this? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, that was a nice look round, wasn't it? Good to see progress being made. I like to sort of pop in when we're doing these progress projects because sometimes we miss out on some details and I just like to stick my oar in and annoy everyone. I think I've probably done that today. I don't know if we got that on camera, but I did, let me tell you that. So we've still got quite a lot to do. You know, we've got to refurb the main part of the nursery and it's good when we spend on CapEx, capital expenditure on stuff like this, we see the revenues rise, staff feel great that we continue to invest in our businesses. And this team, were, you know, they were part of a failing business and now they're part of something that's serious going somewhere and they can see action happening they can see the numbers growing they can see great relationships with colleagues and we're continually investing I just love stuff like that you know 
makes me really proud. Now, I know there's a number of questions that you're probably asking yourself. You're probably asking, how do you find the deal? How do you finance the deal? How can I get deals like this? Well, let's uh, now go over to Rossi, have a little cup of tea, and I'll try my very best to explain it to you. So we're here at Rossi's. Do you know what makes a business owner happy? A nice, busy establishment like you can see behind me. But what would make it busier is if all my YouTube viewers, followers, and subscribers came here and spent some money. Now, I've bought businesses in a number of ways. The way I bought this one that we're sitting in is very different to the way that I bought the nursery in South End. You've got the outreach approach, which is what I did with this one, or there's the directory approach, businesses for sale on Google, etc., etc. And I'm signed up to all of these selling agents and they just send me stuff in the post and they email me. And this particular one came up and I've always got an eagle eye for trading businesses with a freehold property. Now for a guy that likes property, if you can get a trading business and build a property business around the trading business, I think that's one of the most efficient ways to build wealth in your business and personally. It's very tax efficient, uh, it's very good for inheritance tax, etc, etc, and easier to finance. And my personal experience is the capital growth in trading businesses and getting valuations up if they're profitable just literally wipes the floor with buy to let property investment and indeed even commercial property investment when you can merge them together it's just an hallelujah moment so i got this uh, broker sent me this nursery i arranged to go and view the nursery so i, I did uh, and then my next stage is to build rapport with the seller i want the seller to know that we're someone of substance that we want to do a deal that we want to act in a really quick way we pretty much there and then agreed a deal i got a slight discount off the asking price and i was prepared to pay for the asking price that's the seller wanted as much money as possible he wanted um, the staff to be looked after, the business to continue trading. That was his ideal outcome. You know, if you own a business for 30 years, I don't care who you are, unless you're some moron, you really care about the people you work for. And I think if you can just lay that on the table that you're going to look after those people, that's an ideal, ideal outcome. And then they've got a number in their mind. You know, the seller had a number in his mind. He wanted to get us close to a million quid for the business. But I knew that was going to be a challenge to finance it because of some regulatory issues. When you're buying day nurseries, while banks um, Financial institutions love funding profitable day nurseries, say over this, a profitable restaurant, even if the numbers are the same, they would much prefer to fund a day nursery. If you've got a regulatory problem, say a bad Ofsted, that can make it difficult, near impossible to finance it. So I said to the seller, look, let me pay you over a period of time, like on a private mortgage, let me get the regulations updated then I'll take you out with the mortgage now he had to trust me that I was going to deliver and I fully delivered on that that allowed me to actually improve I didn't have to find the stamp duty or the deposit or anything like that up front it gave me close to a year by the time it all got done just to build up equity increase the valuation get all the legals out of the way get the regulations much higher and that's how I did it so he got his money um, he helped me out by working with me over a period of time to get the deal over the line I've done this a number of times but you've got to get in the car and go and see people to get these deals over the line you can't just send an email as a proposal on how to do this you've got to put in the, the legwork as it were what's my ideal outcome now in five years time well i want to turn this into a business that generates a million pounds worth of revenue and makes a nice two hundred and seventy thousand pounds worth of ebitda and i'd like to see that that nursery gets valued as a standalone business at 2.2 million pounds and that's the five-year plan uh, we've done that before and we will continue to do that i'd like us to get to sort of 20 nurseries providing great opportunities for my team rather than owning 100 on leaseholds i'd rather own 20 where we own the freeholds of the properties so we don't have to answer to rent rises and all of that palaver don't forget come see us at rossi i'm here all the time i'd love to say hello to you if you'd like to know um, how to buy businesses why not come along to one of my seminars i'm doing a buying business this is masterclass where I literally go into all the details, the emails that I write, the letters that I send, how I find all the deals, what directories that I'm signed up to, some of them I pay for. I'd love to give you all the details of that. You can book on my website, jamessinclair.net. Tickets are only a few hundred quid and they're all designed to seriously catapult the growth of your business. And buying companies is one of the fastest ways of doing that. 